Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to update our previous code or we'll change our previous code so that it not only gets the values and calculate the sum but also the average. So for that what we understand is the average is basically the sum divided by the number of things uh, that we have added. So here in our case the sum was 34 and we if we divide it by the number of values that we gave to get 34 was 5 so it's 34 divided by 5 which would be somewhere 6 well it will be 6.8 so what we do is we copy this thing because it's almost the same code we change the name a little bit and we say it's average and then number of values we just change it there is no reason for that to change but we just change it for a better variable name number of values that we want to give and it asks, asks the user for the next value we add the value and after that we when we get all the value and the sum has been updated finally we divide it by the number of values so that will compute the average and then we copy this part of the function name change the value over here and then we change this thing to say this program which com computes the average of few numbers few values integer values to be specific then we say the average average is average okay so if we run this code uh, let's see let's see let's wait So we give 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 12 and the average is 6. It was supposed to be 6.8. So what went wrong? Well, the thing that went wrong was two folds. First, an integer divided by an integer is will always return an integer. So we need to first change this to a double. Or we can in C++ style we say uh, so we, let, we select one of them to be the richer type and we make it double so sum now changes from 34 to 34.4 so we don't only have to change this we also have to change this part so we have to change it to a double and then we change this average to a double and then we run it And let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. So let's say 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 12 and it's 6.8. Okay, so it works. Nice. In the next video we are going to use the same thing. Uh, we are going to compute the average. Uh, however, it, we are going to use the while loop to compute the average. Thank you.